My name is Wasting Sanity, and this is my, at a glance, Ark Survival Evolved. As a man or woman stranded naked, freezing, and starving on the shores of a mysterious island called Ark, you must hunt, harvest resources, craft items, grow crops, research technologies, and build shelters to withstand the elements. Use your cunning and resources to kill or tame the Leviathan dinosaurs and other primeval creatures roaming the land and team up with or prey on hundreds of other players to survive, dominate, and escape. Now, let me warn you right off the bat. I do feel a little bit biased towards this game, mainly because of the fact that I have stopped playing in survival games for a while now. And I've been waiting for a survival game that will, let's just say, tickle my fancy. Take it how you want. But this game has freaking dinosaurs. I'm all over this game. Like a cop on a donut. I'm wet and slobbery. I'm just saying, don't judge. Don't judge. So why am I actually looking forward to this game, you might ask? Well, besides the dinosaurs aspect of the game, you have all of your classic survival stuff. So everything you've come to expect from a survival game. You have to eat and drink to survive. Um, temperature affects you, weather, uh, harvest, build structures, paint items, plant, farm, and grow. There is even a tribe system where you can create a tribe, add your friends to it, and all your pets can be commanded by and allied to anyone in the tribe. Sounds like a pretty cool system. There's also RPG statistics. All items are crafted from blueprints and so on and so forth, which is kind of typical for survival. Everything you craft has durability, has basically wear and tear, and you need to repair your items. Explore and discover, obvious. Large world, persistent, and metaverse. They even have hardcore mechanics. On a 100 plus player server, your character, everything you built, and your pets stay in the game even when you leave. So basically, once you log off of the game, you're still there, so players can kill you. Robust uh, mod support. They're apparently gonna have a really good mod support and awesome graphics. This may actually be the survival game that we've been looking for, but I'm not trying to hype the game. It just, it looks really cool. Dinosaurs hype me naturally, but we'll have to wait and see. It comes out next week. Hopefully they're not putting it at a higher price than they should. They said that they're going to have it at a lower price for early access and then once the game is released on PC console at the same time, they're going to increase the price to what the price normally would be. So if it's like $15 to $20, most likely that's worth it. But if they put it at the $25 to $30, it becomes kind of questionable and I might decide to wait and see how everything works out as far as how many bugs there are and so on. But at 15 to 20, I'm definitely in. I'll try it out. I'll let you guys know exactly how good the game is. I'll do a, um, a current state on it in a couple of weeks. Before I forget to mention this, this game will be in early access for about a year. So try not to fall for the hype and feel like you have to run out and instantly get it. Oh, did I forget to mention that there's a dragon or dragons? Anyways, <clears throat> my name is Wasting Sanity. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And as always, I want to thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it.